Hello everyone, this is Kevin from Points Travel Tech. A key way to survive long-haul flights is the entertainment coming from the seat back in front of you. Over the past years, mostly in economy class, the headphone quality provided by the airlines has declined dramatically. On the other hand, Bluetooth headphones have gone mainstream and can offer amazing listening quality in addition to being very practical. The problem is, you can't connect your wireless earbuds like AirPods to the in-flight entertainment. This is where the AirFlight Pro comes in. This little device by 12 South connects to your Bluetooth headphones and plugs into the audio jack of the IFE and voila, you can enjoy the entertainment wirelessly with your own headphones. Stick around and I'll show you how to connect a non-Apple headset and Apple AirPods Pro. Plus, I'll add some troubleshooting for those who have issues with pairing. Let's go. Welcome to this tutorial that will help you make flying long haul more enjoyable. 12 South is a brand that makes third-party Apple accessories, but Airfly Pro works with almost any Bluetooth headset. Ironically, it's easier to connect a non-Apple headset than AirPods, for example. Here's what you need to do. We'll start with these Sony headphones. Make sure the slider on the side is set to TX. This is the transit mode. Press and hold the big button for four seconds until the LED alternates amber and white. Now the AirFly Pro is in pairing mode. Next, put your headphones in pairing mode. In my case, with these Sony Huron 3s, I need to hold the power button for about eight seconds until the LED flashes blue. The AirFly Pro should now connect to your headset automatically and will indicate the successful pairing by lighting up the LED in white for 10 seconds. Bluetooth connected. Next up, the Apple AirPods Pro. What makes AirPods Pro so magical is their W1 chip. This makes connecting to your Apple devices a breeze. Unfortunately, this also makes connecting to the AirFly Pro a bit more finicky. Following the manual, you need to bring the AirFly Pro in pairing mode by holding the button for four seconds. Then you should open the lid of your AirPods and hold the button on the back of the case for five seconds. After that, you should be paired within 90 seconds. If this works for you, congratulations, you're done. But this never worked for me. And it's probably due to the fact that my AirPods were already connected to an iPhone and my iCloud account. If you're having the same issue, here's what you need to do. First, you need to start by disconnecting the AirPods from your iPhone and your iCloud account. Make sure the AirPods are in their case with the lid closed for 30 seconds. Then open the lid. On your iPhone, open the settings app, head to Bluetooth, and press the little I next to your AirPods. Scroll down and click Forget This Device and Confirm. With the lid of the AirPods case still open, hold the button for 15 seconds until the light flashes amber. You can now close the lid. Now it's best to turn off Bluetooth on any Apple devices close by. For the best results, reset the AirFly Pro. To reset, press the big button for four seconds to turn it on. After that, hold the small button on the side for four seconds. Your AirFly Pro will confirm the reset by flashing amber a few times and then switch to rapid white and amber flashes. Now that your AirPods and AirFly Pro have been reset, you can retry the steps from the manual, and this time the pairing should succeed. Now you can enjoy your entertainment without wires getting in the way, and you won't have to worry about the cleanliness of the provided headphones. Something that's important to keep in mind. If the headphone jack of the in-flight entertainment has two ports like this Swiss business class seat, then you'll need an adapter connected to your AirFly Pro. Otherwise, you might get audio in only one ear. 
These adapters are really cheap and are also sold at every airport, in case you forgot to bring yours. Lastly, here are a few more use cases for the AirFly Pro. You can connect it to your PlayStation controller or your Nintendo Switch. Actually, you can pair two headphones simultaneously to watch a movie together. And if you set your AirFly Pro to RX mode, you can plug it into an aux jack of a car or other speakers and stream music from your phone wirelessly to the stereo system. I think this is a great product and a must-have travel accessory. What do you think? What would your use case be? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for my travel and tech-related content. Lastly, hit me up on Instagram at Points Travel Tech Austria to see where my travels take me. Thanks for watching, happy travels, and see you soon.